Hi guys, hope you're keeping well in the lockdown. Uh, my name's Stephen and Father Martin asked if I would share a quick thought with you for today. Um, I uh, work not too far from yourselves at St John's, uh, just round the corner at the top of the Shankle Road. And today I'm sitting here and the road's a lot quieter than it usually is. There's less traffic, less people about. And the thought I want to share with you today is about quietness and silence and what maybe what we can learn from that. Some have been seeing some stories on the news um, as you know, been watching the news a lot, probably as a lot of us have been. Um, but there's been a few stories of people noticing things uh, in sort of new ways. So the, the sightings of wildlife in gardens in the UK has shot up uh, since the lockdown. As people just notice the birds more, the flowers more. Uh, one person reported 12 species of butterfly in their back garden. Another person in Birmingham has had a little deer that's been coming to uh, get its breakfast each morning from their garden. Which is pretty cool. Uh, another story from northern India, people are able to see the Himalayan mountain range, which is about 100 miles away, and they said for the first time in 30 years they're able to see it because the air pollution has gone uh, low enough uh, that the light, the air is clearer and they can see further, which is pretty cool. But as I said, these things were always there. The mountains were always there. The butterflies, the flowers, the trees, they were always there. It's just people... Are starting to notice them uh, because their own lives are quieter, less busy, uh, and things uh, are a bit more still. But it's the same for us. When our lives get a bit more still, we're able to get a new perspective on things. Suddenly, uh, what's really important becomes clearer and we can focus on it. And I hope uh, and I do believe that God is using this time uh, to speak to us, to take us away from the busyness and just give us that space to go a wee bit deeper with him, to create space to hear his voice in new ways. We're seeing some encouraging stuff with uh, churches coming together to pray on Sundays, three to four, for, for Ireland and for, for God to move. And that, So that's something that's really cool that has come out of it, more people pressing into prayer. Um, but it, all, all these kind of thoughts around kind of quietness reminded me of a story about Elijah, the kind of the crazy prophet guy from the Old Testament uh, and this story is in 1 Kings 19 and Elijah has just come through a very dramatic time of his life. Uh, he's had a big victory over the prophets of Baal and then the, the queen Jezebel has threatened his life and he's had to flee and then he's gone through a time of real deep discouragement uh, and he's, he's hiding in a cave on the side of a mountain and in that cave God speaks to him and God says Elijah, my presence is going to pass in front of the mouth of this cave and I want you to come and stand in my presence. So Elijah's in the cave waiting and first, you've heard this story before, first there's a mighty wind which comes and breaks the rocks apart. But God is not in the wind. And then there's an earthquake that shakes the whole mountain, but God's not in the earthquake. And then there's a fire that blazes across the mountain, but God is not in the fire. And then after all this stuff, there's what is described as a still, small voice. And as soon as Elijah hears this still, small voice, this whisper, immediately he knows that that's where I'm going to meet with God. That's what I need to go to, to encounter God. So he goes out, wraps himself up, goes out into God's presence and God speaks to him, restores him and leads him uh, on to the next sort of phase of his life so that Elijah can finish the work that God has for him. I was thinking about that. And, you know, maybe for some of us, this time of lockdown is a bit like that cave for Elijah. And although there is, uh, there's noise um, around, there's the media, there's always distractions. For me, there's always Netflix, uh, which is always a distraction. But there is also space for a lot of us. There is more space where we can go and meet with God in the quiet and in the silence. Silence is a funny thing. Some people crave silence. Um, other people don't like it. It makes them feel uncomfortable. It probably depends on your personality. But it's something that probably most of us rarely actually experience. But studies say that silence is actually very good for you. And a short time of silence every day uh, can give all sorts of benefits. 
reduce stress, promote brain development, uh, promote creativity, uh, increase your ability to understand your own thoughts and feelings, and increase memory retention, uh, your ability to remember stuff. I mean, if somebody tried to sell me a product that was going to do all that for me, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. But I don't need to buy anything. It's something so simple. It's just creating a bit of a space for silence. For me, um, it's something I've tried to practice. Uh, and I, I can honestly say that when I do, um, I, I, I will do it for like three minutes or five minutes. Set a timer on my phone and uh, turn everything else off. So my phone's on silent. And just a three, five minute timer. And just sit quietly, shut my eyes and try to focus on something, maybe a scripture that has spoken to me, um, or a thought, or just an image of, of Jesus, uh, and just try to, as the other thoughts come in, the earthquake, the fire, uh, the, the wind, try to just push them to the side, and focus on God, and what he wants to say to me. So maybe that's something that you could try today. Uh, maybe God might speak to you in it. I hope and pray that he does. Uh, and I hope and I pray that, like Elijah, uh, you feel his presence, the reality of his presence, of his love for you, his complete acceptance of you, uh, that you hear him speaking to you, restoring you, renewing you, uh, and, and giving you guidance for what he has for you in these days of lockdown, but also for the days after lockdown to come, for the new perspective and new stuff that God has for each of us to do. God bless you today. Uh, thanks for listening and I hope that has been helpful for you.